Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Good morning, back again. Fresh and ready to go. Ready to do a little, uh, little slicing. I'm doing a classic hard run this morning. Let me make sure I'm actually doing a classic hard run. I think I played Generate last, last night, actually. Dude, this, uh, I get it. Okay, we're good. I just always get lost in the options menu. I don't know, it's gonna take me a while, I think. Hmm. I'm in for a, like a basic party. What did I play yesterday, actually? Let me see. Oh, I played defensive. Yeah, let's play basic. Oh, and uh, interesting. So let's, let's go over it real quick. We got some new curses here to talk about. Shield response is like an actual hell no. I think this curse is unpickable. I'm so shocked that this got moved down to four. Uh, I used to say the best the the biggest thing that makes this curse easy is that it's a five point curse so you never see it on hard this curse is like it's so fucked it's uh you you hit a monster for two it shields for one so suddenly burst is just half effective it's crazy i hate that curse monster right is okay odd single use is like strange i should probably pick it but i don't know it strikes me as a little bit well, odd. Uh, I think Monster Right is pretty free comparatively these days. Let me see what the reroll rerolls me into. Magical Force and Basic. Uh, we could play Magical, but I kind of want to run this because I like this team. Actually, do I like I like Metalor Gardener? I know a lot of people hate Metalor, but I think this character is very good. Very rarely do they kill you in the start of the run, and they do a lot of value. I'm gonna go monster right plus two. I think I'm not 100% sure what has changed. I think maybe it's just that uh, the landscape of the game has shifted a little bit. I'm still trying to figure it out. Cause like this curse was originally something that I would never take. I think now that the game is quite a bit, uh, it's like more consistent on your hero picks. Monster right is a little bit better to click on because uh, it's less likely that you're going to have a team that just giga low rolls and dies. Like, you're never going to see uh, Ace versus Twin into Baron into Triple Poison into Die, basically. Also, just never click on this. The Tier 1 items suck, and sometimes... The, the problem is that the curses in this game are very inconsistent. Sometimes that Tier 1 curse is like, add B. And that's fine, right? It's like, oh man, I just have to burst one more time every fight. It does like one damage. Who cares? Sometimes that curse is uh, heavy hitters five, or no, heavy hitters nine, and suddenly Tarantus just hits you fucking 24, 24, 24, and you go to hell. So it might just be me, though. I might have just had a bad experience, personally. I'm clicking collector here, by the way. I've seen some collector doubt. I've seen some people say they think collector is not all that good. I think collector is still fine. My man, he still shows up. He hits his numbers. It's not a hard job that he does, but he shows up. He hits his threes, his twos. I think it's mostly twos now. But sometimes he scales up to three even. Actually, I should slay that rat. Three to three, two to two. It doesn't actually matter, does it? Not really. They're going to run, I think. Yeah. All good. Oh, I should also mention a lot of new reviewers, a lot of new people in. I'm picking Anchor here. Uh, a lot of people ask me... Why do I not have auto flee on? Is there a reason to keep the enemies? No. No, I've seen people, I've actually seen some people hypothesize in the comments like, oh, well, it could be because maybe Sarcophagus would run, aw run away. Or uh, maybe it's, there, there's one other reason. There is an actual reason that you can have. And it's because if you enable auto flee, sometimes you can fuck up Glass Helm. So if you're trying to kill someone specifically with Glass Helm, and you have auto flee on and you make the enemies flee before you get your glass helm kill none of that is why i don't care about any of that i just like to kill the enemies <laughs> it's it's not deep sometimes i'm at the end of a run and dragon has run away or dragon has died and it's just me versus the archer and i just want to kill him. you know it's nothing weird it's not like i'm being a freak about it i just i want him to know that he never had a chance i want him to know that i'm better and he's worse Ah, I see. I'm worse. Uh, this is pretty bad. Leading off like this, the bad, the good thing is that he's hitting here. 
But if I roll another Bones cantrip, I can die, maybe. We get a little Poison, we get a little Grow. I don't think I want to Hyper Grow. You're dying, Alloy, so you're just rolling for a Cleanse before you go. Okay, well maybe you're not dying now. Hmm. We go Poison to... I'm pretty close. I'm gonna want a Hemlock here. I can keep Meddler alive. It's probably better to let Meddler die and try to keep the Gardener alive. No, that's not right. I can burst Meddler. I just kind of want to get the Hemlock rolling, because if he rolls another three Poison Cleave, I can be in some real trouble. Yeah, I should get the Hemlock rolling. This is a race now. Things are not good. But I get a... Oh yeah, just like that. Hey, what do you know? It's not so bad. So this is like, this is the thing about this curse though. If I survive this, I really think that this curse is probably not as bad as I once believed because, uh, you know, this is the worst of times. This is as bad as it can be and I'm gonna walk away from it. So, I bet I can do a little bit better here actually. You go here. Gardner dies anyway, but this is, uh, it's guaranteed lethal. I got 100%. Oh yeah. I mean, look at this shit. He actually, this is a 1 in 216. And I still lived. That's like a giga low roll and I still walk away from it. So, I just find this curse a lot of times now with the changes to the game. Uh, you get away with shit that otherwise would kill you. And it wasn't even like I high rolled anything. I hit the one cleanse and I even made a bones. So, I don't know. I think it's alright. Silver Imp, anyone? I actually kind of like Friendship Bracelet. <laughs> Getting a little bit of respect for empty max HP. I also just really don't like Silver Imp that much. I used to like it a lot, but nah, not anymore. What are these guys? The three poison on the right side? Really? So wait, they have a one poison? Hold on, I gotta go check the logs. I thought they had two and two. They really have two and one? Ledger, monster... Bandit. Oh, wow. I was unaware of that. Mm, I'm okay. Ooh. The recovery here is a little scary. Yeah, because Meddler can do this now. And then it gets kind of awkward. Although it's kind of nice because it gives me something easier to make this guy flee off of. I just have to burst. Go like this. The two poison is concerning, but... Mm, we go with this, actually. It's fine. Meddler is the only one at much risk here. Um, am I afraid? How am I getting out of this fight? Who's doing the damage to get me out of here? I mean, it's got it's rogue hits me a cruel and I win. No death wish for collector, so I only can get it through rogue. But do I just lock this? I don't think I lock this. I'm not afraid of it. Yeah, it's all fine. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I get it, Meddler. I get it. I should probably let Meddler die here so that this doesn't go on. Hmm. My gardener dies. That's probably fine. Uh, we can go, like, two poison here. Hemlock sets him to one. Or I Hemlock here. And then I bank two mana. I can kill this guy naturally. I can slay the bandit next turn. I think so. I don't know. Ultimately, it's like tough, but not too bad. Yeah, you give me this. You give me this. for a uh, cruel let me see what i have here actually before i lock myself in blue gray yellow 
Ah, okay. Um, fine. So I can roll here, because if I connect with the two damage, I'll just lethal this bones. Or lethal the bandit, I mean. And if not, it's fine. Go here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, maybe here and then here. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, and you actually can burst now. And then I leave myself on three. This, again, it's like Meddler gives me another close to worst case, and I okay, Meddler. All right, look, you can stop now. I'm trying to trying to make the people like you. Please stop, Meddler. Like, even in this case, though, it's like it's pretty bad when you go down that line, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, vampire versus Monk. I think Vampire got a lot better in this update, and I I do like Hemlock a lot, but I think it's just Vampire. Well, something else I wanted to say is I've been clicking a lot more shield-related things, like this anchor. I mean, I always clicked anchor before, but I think that in this update, uh, it's a lot easier to win through a big steel side than it was before. Meddler. I mean, if you roll dodge, it's good too, so you can roll whatever. Meddler, please. At least we get to slay the war chief. Although I can go like what two plus burst instead. Almost, it's basically the same. But I want to make good use of everything here. So I want to make this into slay. We go like this. Right, we go double hit on the bones. And the idea here is that if I make two mana, which I'm very likely to do, I can just slay to double kill. I don't know if that's necessarily better, but eh. whatever you want to do here, right? The thing about the bones is that they're not actually hurting me when they spawn in, so it doesn't actually matter. Like, you can spawn me another one. Go ahead. I don't care. You know, give me a third one. Fine. But like, they're not doing anything here, and bones are naturally fairly unthreatening. On this curse, it's a little worse because of monster rights, but... Hey, get out of here. It's all good, basically. Ooh, unholy strength. I think wrist blade is also super good, but not on this team. I can go unholy strength here, though. Immune to healing and shielding and plus one to the middle row. Does it do... Okay, so but if you go up to two mana cantrip, it does not summon two bones. So this character gets pretty good. You could also go for a plus one on collector, but I don't think it's all that good. Rogue holds this for the long term, but I think Meddler holds this super well. Because you're just going to give me two mana per bones you spawn in now. Which is good. And I think collector's best side, if he's not dying, is the growth. Honestly, roll me another bones. Thank you. And give me a third one. That's where we are now. This goes here. I don't care about the missed damage. Actually, I'm gonna kill the quartz exactly. Can I get a... You know what might be good here is... Don't say time loop to me. I'm not listening to you. Maybe best to do slay so I get to keep my mana exactly. Yeah, this is right. And we're going untargeted as well. Something I find is that when I take on Holy Strength a lot of the time, I just don't care about it. Like, I just ignore it. And enemies often just miss. Like, they don't hit me on the character that cares about it. But yeah, the big meddler thing is you can chain through enemies with Slay like that once you get good mana gain. I'll keep it. I think meddler is actually super strong here. We go Cleric for sure. I also think Cleric is a lot better. I don't know if I've seen Cleric on YouTube yet or not. Uh, I know many people are like, man, I can't wait to see you see Cleric. This character is so... I mean, they're, they're not so good because they have the two X's, but 8 HP, double mana gain, and this extremely good spell. Huge fan of Cleric now. Yeah, go ahead, bring in the bones. Uh, the only thing that you can draw that's worse is the duplicate. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Uh, so we're going to go mana... Poison here, one damage here. It's not even that bad, because I just go like kill, 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 probably. Mm. Probably not, actually. I bet it's better to kill Slime Queen here. You're on your own eight. 
six, four. I think it comes out to be the same, actually, if you just go and burst through. How scared am I of this fight from this spot? I'm full health. It's two Slimers, three Bones. Ah, you know what? Here's my here's my take for you. I think that this is worse. Why is this worse? Because of the curse. You want less enemies if you're playing monster right, because less enemies is less chances for them to get value off of the curse. So I would rather go poison two damage, or no, probably poison like two damage, one damage, kill, or um. Hmm. Let me figure out where this one damage goes. Maybe I just skip it. Or I could kill the... I don't want to kill the slime. Two damage here, maybe? There we go. This is our best play. I got it. Because this is only one enemy left for monster right. And she missed... It's still big damage, but I can kill her on this turn very often. Slime Queen is not long here. Not, no, you don't need to do a meddler. There you go. And, and now we just go like burst, burst. You're on six kill. Uh, and then I could go like two, two, three. This is where the spell is really good because uh, if you're newer to the game too, I've talked about this before a few times, you want to think about damage ratios when you're evaluating mana. So the baseline is two to two, right? Two shield or two damage for two mana. Uh, everything else that you get is better or worse than that. So this is the same, it's three to three, so it's the same value, but it's different because it offers you a different interval, right? You can kill an enemy that's at an odd health point. So that's really what this spell is good for. It's good for things like you have, cause like bones, for example, they're all fours. You have a stack of three bones, you burst burst of bones. It's gonna do one damage here, one damage here. Uh, and then what do you do, right? You have to either overkill this guy or waste damage on this guy by killing up here on the top. It's minor, but it matters. First spell you cost, cast, each fight costs plus two mana. Aw oh, shit, mana deck got nerfed to a three cost. But at the start of the first turn, shield two to all allies. Hell no. Cracked Plate Tiara. I think Tiara is really good, but I also think Cracked Plate is really good because this is minus four max HP and at the start of each turn, self shield four. And Tiara is just self-heal on all mana sides. This is good because you can play Cracked Plate with a Steel character of some description. And like, it's really good if you hit. But I've already got Collector, so there's not a ton of Steel characters I can see. And Tiara covers... Hmm. I'm gonna go Cracked Plate. I think maybe this is wrong, but... Yeah, hey, we'll see, basically. We will see. I'll reserve my judgment. Good job, buddy. We've got a few. I mean, basically every run that I can play of this game where they offer me and I click on Curator is a good run. So that's all I'm really thinking about right now. Show me more Curators. Hmm. You're petrifying Cleric for one, and Cleric is X'd there anyway. So let's go one, one kill. Here's another one where it matters, right? It's like a, it's a better interval because you're going uh, to three mana banked instead of going burst burst and going down to two. It's little things like that where now I have three mana on this turn and maybe that'll matter a little more to have it ready to go to be able to kill a priority target like the imp that high rolled me. It's all pretty minor, but sometimes it adds up. Hmm. Oh, I do have a damage. There you go. Oh, they're just killing me right there. Oh, I gotta say, when you put it like this carrier, he's on six and he's dead now. But I can't kill the carrier and the imp. Oh, yeah, I can. We could just go like so, and now he's set up to die next turn to a kill, or was it called a slay? Oh, they're just running. Oh, because I have friendship bracelet. Friendship bracelet changes the math. 
enemies run at uh, 10 when you have 10 times their HP. Now they run at 5x. Medor, it's been fun. It has been a good time hanging out with you. Let me go peep the ledger here. What have I seen? I've actually, I think I've seen no blues. No, I've seen Glacia, Myco, Fiend. I've seen three blues. So this is these two. If I reroll, I'll get my most picked, which is apparently Sparky or Evoker or Caldera. I think I'm okay with Jester Rogue. And then we move the face over here. That's okay. Jester Rogue is a little awkward because Rogue... Uh, will cantrip and fuck up engage, but I don't think I care that much about that. And you know, you get the reroll, rogues hitting twos. It should be fine. And sometimes we just want the flick for one. Don't feel we gotta be death wishing. Two damage. First here. I'll save the mana. Uh Probably it's all fine. I mean, it's always all fine here, but. The cracked plate issue, by the way, the thing that's not good about this item, in case you are unsure, it's not good versus poison. Like, ghosts can really fuck us up, for example. It's stasis to all sides. I don't have anything for stasis. This is good if you have, like, artificer, or you have something like statuette, then it's just free HP, but... I think Door is very good, plus two to all shield and self-shield sides uh, when you're against five or more monsters. I think Door is very strong. I'm gonna make this guy hit a four here, Mr. Collector. But mostly it just, some not mostly, sometimes it just wins you the game. Some, sometimes it just like rolls in a way that auto wins for you. What'll it be here? Rogue, you gotta roll a dodge or they're gonna kill you. I could lock the for sure save rogue line. Yeah, let's actually do this. I don't need the one wand. It's fine. Okay. It's th This is the sort of situation where you can get kind of lost here, I think, and accidentally kill your character off. Because rogue uh, could just miss and die. And it's much better to just go here and put both ghosts in tangible, because I'll always win on the next turn. Well, not always, but I'll often win on the next turn. I have Cleric's Cleanse if I need it. I've been locking a lot. I don't need to lock as much for you, Collector. You can roll whatever. That's like the whole point. Yeah, and sometimes he hits this four. And then we kill here. We kill here. We go flick. Kill here. And then I can use the Cleanse. If I don't roll four damage on this turn, I mean, what can you say? Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I just expected it to be right away. Barb Dancer. I think Rogue is pretty locked in on my team right now. So I'm probably just going to take Barb. Barb is still good. Don't get it twisted. Still very good as a unit. Can up his effective HP too by giving him the plate. Right? Oh no, this makes no difference actually. So you want him... I think, I think it will make no noticeable or like discernible difference if you give him the plate or not. So what, I guess we could put it on like Cleric. It basically does nothing right now. Hmm. It's almost kind of bad. Because you're making an equal trade-off of health to shield. But then you want to be down on health so that you can roll uh, healing later on, potentially, and get value out of it. So, I don't know. Kind of curious. You're on 13. It is not lethal. Is Infuse? Inf oh, Infuse is heal one to all cruel. It's got changed. I actually didn't even notice. I mean, when's the last time you clicked on Infuse, right? Probably not very long ago. Or probably a long time ago, actually. Barb is having a little trouble. He has no support here. Uh, it's probably fine against Rotten. You just go, like... Sure. I don't want my Barb to die. 
So we'll wait for Rotten to miss his turn. I said I don't want my Barb to die. Not kill yourself. Three damage is kind of underwhelming, but... No, because I have the heal shield. I want to roll for better. Eight is better. And just a rogue pop off. Oh, that's going to nudge this way. Yeah, I knew it. Fucking scammed. Two damage here. I mean, it wouldn't have made a big difference, but still fucking scammed. Uh, um, excuse me, Mr. Rotten. So the thing is about... I should lock, by the way. I should just lock in. The thing about my shift on my opinion of this curse is that I had a run. I put it up in 2.0. This was Again, this was in 2.0. Uh, I had a run where I played against Baron there, and I got like five poison hits on turn one and two of the right side poison, and I still pull it out. So I'm less worried than I was once before. Button handle is like, it's heavy and plus one to all targeted sides. So I can put this on rogue, and it's okay. It's actually pretty good. It like stomps through the mid game, but then it falls off. But I don't really think kite shield is very good. So I'm just going to let this rogue go crazy. Three damage cantrip is absurd. If you hit it. Yeah, and the heavy just means that she'll always spread her damage now, which is fine in most fights. I don't think I have to care. As she just kills both snakes and then you walk through the fight. Like they are gonna leave. Ooh, Agent. I think Ghast is the same. Which, you know, for better or for worse. I'm down to click on Agent here, actually. A scary face isn't bad. Lead and Handle, it's a little bad in this fight because of the Basilisks, but... Uh, I think it'll end up being fine most of the time. Inflict pain. Three damage. It's basically five damage here. Not too into it. What are your shifting sides? Group exert. I don't want that. Inflict nothing. Okay. Very nice. Good job, buddy. I'll go ahead and do the inflict pain. You're going to hit three anyway, pretty much. Could pass the turn and let the blind run, but I don't really care about him. Hmm. Yeah, and then I'll just cleanse. That's fine. We clear the petrify and we clear one poison stack. It's like in this fight though because i'm all about this quad use i feel like i almost have no damage what are your shifting sides hyper boned alliteration fucking hyper boned come on summon four bones you're not a meddler are you i'm not playing hyper boned yeah i'd rather you roll the X. things are not good in our kingdom it's all rather dire Don't worry, Agent wakes up this turn. Heavy Fierce. Oh, this is they flee. This is good. I think this is lethal. Fierce. Heavy Heavy is just a natural word. Uh, fierce is if the target has less HP after they get hit, uh, they flee. So, and the, the X here is how much damage you do. So you do four, he flees if he's less than four. All good, Agent. That was a bad fight for Agent 2, so I don't blame you. Cell shield to damage sides? Oh! That's a combo. Pocket mirror is pretty good too, but I feel very compelled to pick this because we go like... Suddenly you have... Uh, plus two on your whole character with self shield, which is kind of nice. Leaden handle is not worth holding on to here. Could go for like a... I think cart is a lower case... Or like it's a lower cost, but I could go for something like a cart here. Give my agent more more slots to go off. I think that'd be fun. Six damage kills a ghosty. Probably this one if I were to guess. Very hard to make this bandit flee. Although I could roll for it. I have four rerolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You roll for it. Don't lock in here. These are what we want. 
But we can go for bigger than six. I know you got this shit, buddy. There you go. Also, what is your salad? Duplicate five. Scared targets must have five or less HP. Hmm. Duplicate five is interesting. But I'm just going to go through and pop all their intangibles anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, I see. So you go like, you just kill down here and then we kill the bandit anyway. I got it. Okay. I'm just looking. Because I'm going to kill this bandit with my quad use. So it doesn't really matter. To dodge, I want to roll for mana here. There you go. And then we should break one intangible off. Break this intangible, kill you. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. How about I just uh, cleanse shield cleave? Seems a little better, doesn't it? I don't think they'll flee. We'd have to be at 35 for them to flee. What's this? Anti-pair. Times two, except if this has the same pips as the previous dice this turn. Hmm. That seems like a good keyword. I'd go for anti-pair. Fate, I've said many times uh, at this point, but I think Fate is like maybe the strongest red now. This is so strong. So crazy. I always click this character. Uh, Fate also gets to hold the door, which is pretty nuts. And then I can go self-shield onto Barb, and I can go Leaden Handle, Scary Face on Agent. That's pretty good. And we just play fights, because a lot of fights you get door value right away. So we just play for the door value, and then we hope that this is someone who can pair it very well. I think Weaver is the best, but it can be a lot of guys. Whatever you want here, Jester. Sure. Do I have a lethal? I do. I wonder if I can save a little bit here. I bet I can. I didn't even consider what if I have lethal here, because I was like, that's absurd. This is 12, this is 6, and then we go... Ah, oh, it's the same. I hope these guys can kill one spider or three spiders off. Uh, hey guys, you can kill off three spiders, right? Let me uh, do this correctly. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about it. Scorpion Tail Prism, Rainbow to the middle side. Rainbow here is pretty good, gives you consistency. I didn't put the anchor on after the last fight. Scorpion Tail, okay, let's think about what we lose to. Right, it's time to consider. I think right here on choice eight is where you start really thinking about it. And this is how you should approach, uh, how, how you should approach the game, I think, if you want to try to win streak. We got Agent, Barb, Cleric, Fate, Jester. So I have, obviously I have Agent, Barb, and Fate locked in. Who am I weak to of the four final bosses? I think Dragon is fine. We'll probably just run him over. The hand I should win because Agent pumps out so much damage and Fate gets such value. Uh, Hexia and Inevitable I think are both good because we get guaranteed door value. I think of the four bosses, I'm probably most afraid of Dragon, because Dragon can go poison poison on me. So if I'm scared against Dragon, what do I want? I want... I want like a mix of damage and, and shielding. I think Scorpion Tail is the fake. Because if, if I have trouble into Dragon, I can take this, and we can go uh, four damage weaken and just ruin him. But it's also good to recognize when you should just take your items off. Like, I want to stop Agent from taking the Death Spiral here. Ah, and Cracked Plate does something if she died. Look at that. We, we only lose two, two regular HP and we're gaining four shield. Now she gets poisoned. Oh no, look at that. This will help me not die to the Chomp Death Spiral, because these guys... It's... Top first, then bottom. Got it. What do you got? Inflict pain. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. A little inflict pain on the enemy. 
Oh, maybe do mind if I do. Hold on. We can go like first hit strand for spell rescue, then you're not dying. Click here. Oh, does Chomp guaranteed kill my Jester in this fight? Because he can't heal. Chomp does five for sure and Banshee does. I think I always lose Jester. I'll have to roll it for him next turn. I'll see if I can roll him a dodge. That's the only thing I can do. But I should force this Banshee to die. Oh, they're leaving. Right on. Didn't even think about that. Prince Artificer. I do not like Prince. I think he's very bad. But... So his thing is, if you have a blank, a sword, a shield, and a heal, you can do 15 damage. It's one, you need one of each. I have two characters with heal shield if I take him, and one of them is Fate who hits it actually. And then you're always gonna have the damage. You can draw the X, you'll have damage. It's a question of if I can ever cast it twice in a turn. If I roll two heal shields, no, I would not be able to. So it's only ever going to hit one time per turn. But it does 15 damage. And I can get it with heal shield. And he'll hit sixes sometimes. Hmm. I feel like I'm trying to talk myself into it. He see I just think he's pretty bad. But let's take it. Because I think Artificer isn't really the pickup that I want here. So let's give it a go. He has 11 HP. And that's also kind of nice. <laughs> Okay, so here's heal shield. Here's damage. So we can go one, two, three with quad use and then unite. So I just need to roll an X and I have it. There you go. One, two, three, 15. You need to roll me mana, Jester. There you go. I think if I understand this correctly, it'll go one, two, three. Unite kills the troll. We might have take this. One damage, one shield, one heal, one blank. Why does it take my... That's strange. I wonder why it took that. Oh, it's taking this as the shield side. Oh, because I have damage self-shield. This can be damage and shield. I didn't even think about that. I get you. So yeah, it took damage, heal, shield, X. Or no, sorry, damage, shield, X, heal. That's why that went like that. Did I fucked up somewhere? I missed one hit. Okay. That's kind of cool. We can get a lot of value out of quad use in the agent hit. Which is neat. Timestone Angel Feather. Well, Angel Feather with Prince seems pretty bad. Timestone to Cantrip Dodge is basically the only thing I have here. I have like Cantrip Barb, I guess. Four damage, six damage. But Barb is probably going to end up being the one holding my Scorpion Tail. If I were to take a guess, so... And he's not dropping the ornate hilt, so he's not going to take the time stone here. So you could time stone Prince, you could time stone Fate, you could time stone whoever this is, but this is never going to be someone who wants time stone. And Angel Feather is worthless, so I guess I take the random. Add Enduring to the two left sides, swap the left side with the middle side. Interesting. So I can just get Cantrip on my Jester's four mana, I can get Inflict Pain. Is that, does it also get the single use? It does get the single use. So that's not very good. I can get duplicate inspired three damage. That seems pretty worthless. I could get death. I mean, it's obviously going to go here. And then sometimes we can get some really crazy stuff with our tier three, I imagine. All right, what do we got here? Three imps. I'm pretty sure tactics cannot kill the demon. 
you're gonna dodge. You're gonna just shield yourself. We're just gonna tunnel the demon real quick here. Mm. Oh, but I can't do anything to it with agent. So I'll have to, what? Oh, that works. I have Unite, but I don't want to play it. Agent just goes along the line here. That'll work. Oh, and I should flick. I always forget to hit the flicks here. It always escapes me. Thank you to Barbarian, by the way. Love this guy still. Shout out to my man. It's fine. Now, like here, uh, often I'll see people talk about why I save mana as well. It doesn't work out in a way that it makes sense here. Heavy pair. Uh, but, like, you set this guy to one. I can always kill him with flick on this turn now. But I've, also, if he just, like, swings into someone who's dodging, I can ignore him completely. And I didn't waste my turn. Obviously, this is, like, super over anyway. But, you know, all good. The hand. I think the hand can actually be pretty scary if he hits kill the topmost enemy. Um. Hmm. It's interesting. Because I think that. I think that there's something crazy here. If I have enough twos. Oh no, enough threes. I do have enough threes. I think ace goes kind of nuts. I don't think warlock is all that interesting versus the hand. He has to cast so many times. I want to click on this. Because now you have, and I've never seen this before, you have triple pair and pair triple. And we're hitting three, so I can go three, six. I just hit the quad use plus this, and I think this is gonna make, well, it's gonna make three, six, this is gonna make 18 mana. And if I could somehow hit the, the quadruple, the trio pair here, it would give me 24 mana. Like that's gotta be kind of cool. I could scary face agent, but I think I'm more interested in hitting this one. Ah, you know what? It's equal value, or it's equal odds. And then we're just gonna go Barb with the Weaken. Barb can weaken the Cleave Poison down. So the only thing that really scares me is kill the topmost enemy here. Yeah. Uh, I would be very sad to have my agent just get killed right before I get to do this. But sometimes it'll go like that. Ah, okay. Alright, Ace. And let's see what it looks like, right? This is, this was Bloodlust because you got Fluctuate on the side. So for this turn, this fluctuated to a Bloodlust side. Pretty cool. Uh, and then you go like this. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, because once it's, once it's gone, it's at six. It's not counting as three. Ah, uh, that's too bad. But I could boost, or no, I could play this. And then it goes like, oh, man, that's upsetting. Because I thought it would go three, three, three. I thought it would count this as three and three and then three, but it goes, it's three, three, and then your final side is six is what it's counting. So that's too bad. It's still fine. He's going to give me okay value, but I'm a little sad. I won't lie to you. What's your other side here? I think this is inflict. Oh, this is swap death wish times two if the target is dying this turn. That's pretty worthless. I think I'll take the five. I just want to think about maybe uniting here but i need this pain so it'd have to be this is the unite i need this so i can make six and then i can unite to kill a saber or i can just go heal shield yeah what if i go boost the new boost by the way if you haven't seen it is one boost to deplete the target gets plus one to all pips this turn, but it costs more every time you do it. So I can use it like this to just give myself some big shield healing. But I don't know if it's all that good. How I play through this turn is very important to work out correctly. 
I can go nine mana. I could then go five. Oh, that's right, you're heavy. Five burst burst. Six weaken on the cleave. Uh Or I can go three weaken, six mana, unite kills a saber, six mana. This is a tough turn, there's a lot to do. Lots of options, I could go three, burst, four. Unite kill the other saber. It's probably like this. I'm just scared of getting my barb killed here. And for what? For one HP? Nah, I don't think so. I think I won't burst. I think I'll go here. Unite. Is this good enough though? I don't know. I'm just killing off one saber. It doesn't seem that good. I might prefer to leave both sabers alive and, or, yeah, leave both sabers alive and just save Barb. I think that's going to be the better choice. Okay, I'm not going to unite here. Here's my thought. On the next turn, I would rather have these two sabers alive to have a potential plus two to a weaken hit on the hand in case he rolls poison or seven to all. So I think it's going to be better. It's better every time to leave the sabers alive, except for if the, the hand rolls kill the topmost enemy. So, we can go, like, up to nine. Hit here. Four damage. Burst, burst, burst. Yeah, okay. And so, I mean, I'm probably going to go heal shield. We're going to keep everything except for the prince then. We're going to roll for him to give me, you know, love this guy. I think he's really good. He's really good as long as you need the X. And if you, as soon as you don't need the X, this character fucking sucks. He becomes so worthless. I'm gonna burst these guys anyway, so I may as well go burst, 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 hit. Yeah, this is probably best. Barb goes to one, but I'm really not that worried. Hmm, three saber spawns. Okay, the hand took the turn off. I think we're big chilling here. Twelve. He's on 14. If I roll this into heal shield, I think it's lethal. If I lock this X, I roll a heal shield and I'm pretty sure I kill. Cool. Let's see if I'm right. You go eight, one, two, three. Unite. Oh, you know what? Let's do a boost here actually. Holy shit, I didn't even realize. I It didn't even occur to me that I had this combo. Wait a minute. Didn't even see that, did you? Probably you did. Probably been screaming it at me. The Giga Boost Agent combo. Six, 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 six. Burst, burst, burst. Hmm. I bet that's good enough. Seven, 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 burst? I, it, this is math that is just way too hard for me to conceive of. Let me see what it looks like if I go like, boost, one, two, three, hit this, unite, burst, burst. I end up with six mana left over. Although, could I go, like, it, this is now time for me to just kind of fuck around and see what you can do with Ace here now. Like, see what makes sense to do with Ace here. Like, you can go, like, draw, draw, heal, shield, draw, and you can get 10 mana. This is very clearly worse. 
he it falls off he becomes a lot less useful after a certain point but anyway i'm gonna finish the fight now sorry i got a little lost in the sauce here ace he didn't get to be his best ace but he did pretty well this doesn't seem right oh yeah because the last hit here needs to go to unite i think you're gonna end up around here every time and that's fine. I think the hand was actually pretty scary. With 50 HP, I find that guy kind of terrifying. Hey, you want to see something funny? This is, uh, this is deal 4 damage regen. I give him the regen. Pretty good, huh? Alright, GG. Fun run, I like that one. Uh, I'm a little sad that the puzzle box ace combo didn't work out. But this character kind of went fucking crazy so that's cool and we picked prince that was also fun he's not quite as bad as i thought but i think i would only you only click this guy if you have something that else that double dips like you need a damage self shield or a heal shield or maybe a damage self heal right something like that where you're getting double dip value maybe you could make it so that you have like damage self shield uh self shield heal heal and then like so I'm trying to think, but you can't roll two X's. That's the problem. You can't get double X's off of this, right? Maybe there's like, you can make like a damage self shield, self heal. You can make that maybe. I don't know how you would. Uh, there's like the enchant for it, but then who's putting that on you? Anyway, if any of you ever hit the double prince, like you play two unites in one turn, please let me know. I think it's super hard. You have to have damage, self shield, self heal. Uh, so if you ever hit it, let me know. I want to know how you do it. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.